is a progression. So we're, we've got it set up on a chain here at the wall about waist high. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a top and bottom connection. Now what we're doing, the goal or the purpose of this is to get on the mound and start to utilize the slope so you can see it's hook bottom top. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start into a hinge. As I get into a hinge, I'm going to slightly create tension by pulling the cords back in a straight line. You want to watch, if I get angled, I don't want to get angled because I'm trying to set up the shin vertical, the kneecap over the foot, and I'm making very small moves where I'm placing tension on the cords, and applying force in a straight line. So it's very, very small. Watch swinging, it's just how small can I make the tension as I start to corkscrew the hips and the foot remains flat. All right, so the first progression, we're going to go eight to 10 of these. And then from there, we're going to move into a progression to where I'm going to start. So I've got no tension here. My feet are flat. And then what should happen is, as soon as I start to move out, I should feel tension here. That tells me that I'm loading while moving. And again, the tension that you should feel should be very small. But initially, I don't want to load with static joint because I won't be able to move out of it. So as I start here into the hinge, I'm just going to put tension on the cords as I'm moving. Now notice I'm not simulating a strap. If I do that, I'm going to push out of it. I'm simply loading up the hip on that first step as I step. 